So I'm getting all set up here at Vintage Market Days. And as you can see, the building's still kind, it's just starting to fill up. So yeah, when I got here, Lori, the wonderful coordinator, um, she told me that the booth next to me was actually possibly available. And so I started setting up and then I went to her and asked again and she said, it's definitely, go ahead, set your stuff up. So now I'm freaking out a little bit and trying to figure out how I'm gonna make this work. So um, let me give you, I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like now. So as you could see, this is where it originally started was at this table right here. And then I moved it in a little, I'm gonna move everything in so I can put stuff out here in the front. And then we got all of this space to fill up. I have two days to set up for the show. And so right now while I'm doing this, I'm thinking to myself, how am I gonna make this work? My booth setup is made to be 10 by 10. I did think ahead a little bit and make it where I can extend it out a bit, but not way to 20 feet. So um, this middle section right here where I'm setting these shelves up um, is the area where I can extend it. So I figured it out. I just went down to the hardware store and I bought some longer pieces of wood to put right up there in that corner, kind of where I'm sticking the greenery in right there, um, just so that I can extend it out um, like another like three or four feet. And that worked out perfect. So problem solved, crisis averted. Now for a little bit of a late lunch and then back to it. Well, this is what it's looking like after setting up the first day. I just, I got the decorations up on the top. I got some of the product put up over here too. I'm gonna have to bring in more to fill some stuff here. Um, still, I haven't unloaded any of my bigger totes that have the bulk of the other items in them. And I also got this up over here. After another day of hard work, I finally got my booth all set up and this is what it looks like now. Um, a million thanks to Naomi with Eclectic Curio. She came in and spent a couple hours with me and helped me get all of this awesome vintage, antique, and found stuff set up. And she does such an amazing job and she did it like it was almost like a whirlwind and it was all set up. Thank you so much, Naomi. So I've got the center table set up and we've got all of like, I have a whole bunch of bottles and greenery and some vintage stuff there all set up. I've got my Sweet Pickens milk paint area, my macrame. Um, over here is the other side of the center table where there's more of the vintage and found handmade stuff. And then I have a million <laughs> of these little bottles that I got from this amazing man um, and uh, I hope people love those because I absolutely love old bottles. Um, this is the back, the far back table and this is where I've got some more little stuff set up. I've got this awesome tabletop mirror, some more macrame, um, some neat uh, framed art that I did here. Uh, in the front table, kind of catty corner, I've got a whole bunch of larger items here in the front, a whole bunch of cute little things on the stand, all of the IOD hanging there. And um, this stuff, I just, I love all of this. It, it just looks so good. And then with all of the IOD hanging in the back and I've got the paint and products, that really does draw people into my booth because a lot of people don't know what it is and they're curious and so they want to come in and they wanna find out more. I did bring in two pieces of furniture that I did with the paint. The white table was done with the Sweet Pickens milk paint so that's kind of what it looks like with a um, chippy look. And then the black table, I did that with DIY paint and Undead Hardware's new decoupage papers. Here's all of the DIY paint. I've got all that set up over here. And then the IOD transfers and paint inlays over here on this side. And I have to say <laughs> that this was quite an overtaking <laughs> for sure. So 
I'm happy. I enjoyed the show so much and talking with all of the wonderful people, but I am really happy that it's over and I can rest now. Um, I just want to give you like a couple pictures here of the overall look of my booth and some close-ups of some stuff that I really thought looked cute. And of course, I'm going to show you some pictures of some other booths at the show that I really thought were pretty awesome. So hang on here till the end. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. It's Dancing Daisy Designs. And so let's go check out some other stuff. Something years ago, those cold nights in December, and the sound of the falling snow, the fireplace warming us, the VHS movie box, your old broke down touring bus, and not a single cloud in the sky. If I could go back in time. I'd pack my bags right now If I could play back rewind I wouldn't think twice A pair of jeans and a dusty shirt We didn't have a dime No, you and me were poor as dirt All we had was time Forest. 